hello and welcome in this video i would like to teach you how to create lightning effect on corridor okay so first thing we need to do just let us import our picture the one we need to use so i'll just quickly do that i'll just import this my portrait picture and just drag it on corridor okay so once i have it i would like to just convert this to a gray scale which is black and white so for you to do that let's just adjust this picture and make sure it's balanced enough okay so you can just go to your bitmap then for your bitmap you see can you see i hope you can see that because you can see mode and you can see grayscale so you can just do that and from by doing that you can just convert your pictures to black and white your color picture to what to black and white and it's called grayscale go to your bitmap and from bitmap you see mode and you can convert it to what you can convert it to grayscale by doing that all right so next thing i would like to do you can adjust the gamma so go to effect you see gamma right there and effect so you can darken the black and white likewise you can also increase the black and white just you can always adjust your grayscale you can always adjust your grayscale just very simple and okay if so if you are good to go so you can just click on okay okay so right i would like to just make a little blue lightning effect on this picture okay so by doing that let me just take my circle shape i like to use a circle shape and i'll just do a circle shape and i'll have it blue right there and okay so next thing i would like to do right here I, okay, let me just change the background and okay let me so partly this inside okay so i can just have this circle then i'll go to effect from effect you can see gaussian blur so i can just create a blur on the circle all right hope you can see that okay so the next thing to do is go to bitmap convert your circle into bitmap so you can rgb and you can fit um put it on transparent background and you're good to go so next thing you can just take your transparency into then click on the normal drop down button so you can click overlay so you can just have it have the blue overlay on the picture so uh, let me just try to place it on on the end part and i would like to place it on the face also so you can see having it on the face is kind of the blue is too much it's too much on the face so you can just reduce the transparency so i think let me just put it to 20 or 30 so it, it doesn't get too much and too 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 clumsy right there okay so and i would like to just adjust this and have the blue effect the lightning effect on the shirt so it it, it reflects on the shirt also so just very simple and let me just change the background and just make a blue background i think you can see this is making sense i think it's making sense <laughs> okay just very simple um it's making sense right here so you can just make a blue lightning effect on your picture and you can make use of any color either red yellow and okay so let's have a blue background and i hope you can see this and i hope you found this helpful so if you found this video helpful i'd like you to help me subscribe to this channel for more videos and drop your comment into the comment section and like and share this video to your friends thank you for watching